Hey guys, if you just want to skip to the presets, um, please click. So Dead by Daylight, it has a feature in it, which is basically like dynamic resolution. It just changes the resolution of your screen in order to maintain a constant 30 FPS. Now I played about played with this preset for about a minute, but then I realized that like it kind of changes the resolution too much, and this game can run decently well at medium settings, so I just didn't really feel this to be necessary. But it's there if you want it to be there. So turning off auto adjust and just playing in low settings yields the same result, but I feel that these settings are better because the resolution doesn't really change in front of you and you still get a constant 30 FPS. So once again, this benchmark works just fine, but you can also bump the settings up to medium, which is the next benchmarks with very limited performance drops. So as you guys can see, medium settings, the frame rate doesn't really change and the game runs pretty much at a locked 30 FPS. And it's weird because this game isn't locked at 30 FPS, but even if you turn down the settings all the way to low, you're not really going to get above 30. But on high settings, they do drop to about 22 to 24 FPS, so I decided just to keep it at medium settings. So a cool thing with this game is that you can turn down or up the uh, in-game resolution. Now, I found that turning the resolution up to 70 to 80 gives you the same 30 FPS, but it does make the game look just a little bit better. But those of you guys with weaker graphics cards, you could totally turn the resolution scaling down, and it gives you a lot of performance, especially if you turn it down. Now, the game will look worse, but if you need the extra performance, that option is there. So this game is currently in open beta, and I really recommend you guys go try it. As you can see by this video, it does run well on lower end hardware, and especially with the tuning of the resolution scale, you can get it to run on much weaker graphics cards. Now this game comes out June 14th, um, right now it's on sale for about $18, but I think it'll be $20 when it comes out. It's a fun game, I recommend you guys try this out. Thank you so much for watching this video. And hope you guys enjoy the new timestamps that I added. Alright, see you guys.